Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So what do you think of the new sun hat? I absolutely love it. Now I have a pattern, my favorite, favorite hat to twirl on my channel. You should check out my hat tutorials. I like to make hats. So I have well over a hundred. It's called my chocolate bonbon beanie. So this is called my bonbon sun hat because I took my basic bonbon beanie and I turned it into a sun hat. I absolutely adore it. I'll probably wear it more than likely. I'm not a big sun hat. I, I, I do, I wear them sometimes, but this one I really, really like. I think it turned out well. And I wasn't quite sure about the yarn at first because it's variegated, but I think that you can still see the stitches quite well in it. So I'm quite happy with it. Do you guys want to go ahead and get started? Let's do it. All right, so uh, remember, as always, don't forget to hit, the, hit that subscribe button, please. And don't forget to uh, hit the like. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. That always helps me out. And give me a share if you can. Um, so I'll show you the yarn that I use for this particular hat. Now I use Caron Cotton Angel Cakes. Now you do not have to use this yarn. This is a cotton acrylic blend. It's a uh, medium weight number four, 60 cotton, 40 acrylic. Um, and the color is called minty in case you, you know, in case you're interested and it is a variegated yarn. This hat will look good in a variegated, I think, cause I think it looks quite well. Pro uh, more likely it was going to look awesome in a striped or I know it'll look excellent in a solid. So any four weight cotton or for any four weight yarn will work. Um, it being a sun hat, I might recommend a cotton or a cotton blend, but you can still use acrylic, of course. So you don't have to use the yarn that I'm using. Let's see, there's 400, no, you already done here. Oh, 530 yards. So for this particular, I'm gonna give you a guess here. You're probably gonna need about um, 225 yards of a four weight. Now that's, that's my guess, because it looks like I used almost half of this cake, this cake, which is, I didn't, yeah, that's what I'd say. And then I'm going to be using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. So this is an adult size hat, should fit anywhere between probably 18 to um, 22 inch, 22 and a half inch head, something like that, okay? If you wanna make it bigger, you can always jump up a hook size to like a six millimeter, would probably do 23, 24 inch head. So, um, and this is also very uh, unisex too. Um, so you can make the four man or a woman. So let's go ahead and get started on this. All right, why don't we go ahead and start out with a slip knot on our hook. Just like that. Now we're going to start, we're going to work a chain of four. There's one, two, three, four. And we're going to slip stitch back into the first stitch to form a ring. Now you prefer, if you prefer to use the magic circle here, that would be fine too. But I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. So I slip stitch back into my first stitch. I usually use my middle finger and put it right in between the hook and the chain. And then I slip stitch through and that holds that ring open there. That way I can work through it. So we're going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to be working back through the center of the ring and we're going to work 12 double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go in the ring, draw up a loop, and then go ahead and do your double crochet. So we want to do that 12 times, that being number one. Two, three, four. All right, so I've made it uh, to the end here of round one and I have done 12 double crochets. Sometimes you can get that center circle to close up more by pulling on that tail. If not, we'll close it up the rest away at the end by sewing it together. Okay, so we got our 12 double crochets and we're gonna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into the first double crochet that we made. Not that tiny chain one, remember it doesn't count, but the first double crochet. And you should have a total of 12 stitches now. So we're gonna go ahead and start round two by chaining one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're gonna work right back here where we just slip stitched this hole right here and we're gonna work two double crochets into that spot. 
So there's one and there's two. And now what we're gonna do for round two is we're gonna work around and we're gonna put two double crochets into every single stitch until we make it back to our starting point. So there's two double crochets into the next stitch, two doubles into the next. And we're gonna repeat this pattern of two double crochets in every stitch until we make it back around to our starting point. All right, so I've made it to the end of round two, and now you should have a total of 24 stitches, and we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now we're gonna begin round three. Now round three, we're gonna start doing, <coughs> excuse me, post stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and chain one. And we're gonna work right back into this very first stitch here that we just slip stitched into. And we're only gonna work one double crochet into that spot. So right in there like that. Now the next stitch we're gonna, we call an increase stitch. So it's right here and I'll show you how that's done. We go and we work one double crochet into the top of the stitch like that and then we work one front post a double crochet around the post of the same stitch so this one right here so we yarn over and go around the post of it and do a front post double crochet so that is an increase we actually put two stitches into that one we put one regular double crochet and a front post double crochet so now we're going to start the repeat of row three. In the next stitch, we're going to put one regular double crochet right into the top of it. In the next stitch, we are going to do the increase. So we're going to put a double crochet right into the top of it. And then we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch that we just worked that double crochet. Just like that. And again, we're gonna repeat that again. We're gonna work one and double crochet into the next stitch. And in the next stitch, we're going to do the increase so that we will put one double crochet into the top of the next stitch and one front post double crochet around the post of that same stitch. So this is the pattern we're gonna repeat all the way around one more time one double crochet into the next stitch and then an increase into the next so we put one double crochet into the top of the next and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch so we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around until we make it back to our starting point all right, I've come to the end of round three and your last stitch should have been an increase stitch there. So you should have had a regular double crochet and a front post double into that same stitch. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And you should have a total of 36 stitches now at the end of round three. So why don't we go ahead and begin round four. So round four, we're going to chain one. And we're gonna work one double crochet into the very, very first stitch that we just slip stitched into. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch, so right here. And in the next stitch, we will do our increase stitch. And if you look closely, the next stitch is actually the post stitch from the previous row. So we're gonna increase there. We're going to go in to the top of it and do a double crochet. And then we're gonna go around the post and do a front post double crochet. So we're keeping our posts lined up, just like that. Now we're gonna start the repeat for round four. So it's one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double into the next, one double into the next, 
and then the next is the increase and you can see that it is the post stitch from the previous row so we go into the top of it and work a regular double crochet and then we go around the post and work a front post double crochet and that is the repeat so we'll go ahead and repeat it again one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so there's one double one double and then the next one is an is the increase stitch because you can see that it is the post so we go and we put a double crochet on top in the top of that stitch and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch and that is the repeat for round four i'll show you one more time double crochet into the next two stitches and then the next one we're going to do a increase so we double crochet into the top of it and a front post double crochet around the post of it so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i make it back to my starting point all right so i've made it to the end of round four and now you should have a total of 48 stitches your last stitch should have been an increase and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet and then we're going to go ahead and begin round five so we're going to start round five by chaining one and we're going to go back into that same stitch and do a double crochet just like that and now we're going to work a front post double crochet into the next stitch so yarn over just we're not going doing a stitch in the top we're just doing a regular front post double around that stitch like that the next stitch we're going to do a regular double so it's right here and then the next stitch will be an increase stitch you can see that it's lining up with the previous increases that we've done so we're going to go ahead and do a regular double crochet in the top of it and then a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch so we're kind of just going to repeat that pad this pattern for round five so let's go ahead and do it again so we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch right in the top of it sometimes you have to pull it out like that to see it but it's right here it gets hidden sometimes and then the next stitch we're just going to put a front post double crochet around the stitch next stitch you see it right here double crochet into the top of it and then the next stitch is our increase stitch so right here we put a regular double crochet into the top and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch just like that now we're going to repeat it again we're going to repeat it all the way around so one more time Remember, sometimes you have to pull this over. That post will hide that first stitch, but you got to make sure you get it. And put a double crochet into the next stitch. A front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. A double crochet into the next stitch. and then the next stitch is an increase stitch so we go into the top of it and put a double crochet and then we work around the post of the same stitch and work a front post double crochet so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around double crochet front post double crochet double crochet and then the increase and we repeat that and i'll meet back up with you at our starting point all right so i've made it to the end of round five and again you should have ended in the increase and you should have a total of 60 stitches now and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet so now we're going to start round six with the chain one okay so we're going to a double crochet right back into this very very first stitch like 
like that. And if you look, the next stitch is a front post double crochet from the previous row. So we're going to front post double crochet around that stitch. And then we're going to put a double, sometimes you have to slide it over, a double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch, you can see it right here. We're going to put a front post double crochet around that, that stitch. It's the one next to the post stitch. And then we are going to do our increase right here around this post. So we're going to put a double crochet into the top of it and a front post double crochet around the post of it. I know it's really close to this post stitch, but if you move it over, you can see here's the double crochet we just put on top of it. We need to put the front post double around this post of the same stitch to create our increased stitch. And that is a pattern now that we're going to repeat for round six. So again, we're going to put a double crochet into the next stitch. A front post double crochet into the next. A double crochet into the next stitch. A front post double crochet around the next. And then the next stitch is the increase stitch. So we put a double crochet into the top of it and a front post a double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So let's repeat that again. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next stitch. front post double into the next and then the next stitch is our increase stitch and it's always kind of hard to see but right there it is here's the post from the previous row so you go into the top of it and work a double crochet and then around the post of it and work a front post double as well so that is our increase. So we're going to repeat this pattern that we've been doing. Double crochet, front post double crochet. Double crochet, front post double crochet. And then the increase into the next. All the way around until we make it back to our starting point. All right, so I've made it to the end of round six. And if your work's curling up, that is fine. That's what happens when you work with post stitches. Your work starts to curl. But don't worry, we'll take care of that. <clears throat> hopefully no I'm just kidding we'll take care of that so you should have been in an increase again and you should have a total of 72 stitches now so we're going to go ahead and end round six by slip stitching into our first double crochet so now we are not going to be increasing anymore at the top so now we're going to start working at the uh, main portion of the hat before we put a brim on it so for round seven we are going to chain one and we are going to put a regular double crochet back into the very first stitch. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet into the next. And then regular double crochet into the top of the next. And a front post double crochet and then the next regular double crochet into the top of the next you kind of got to look for it it hides in between these two post stitches but you see him right there make sure you get him regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet so remember we're not increasing so it's just front post right around that stitch and this is a pattern we're going to repeat all the way around it's just double crochet into the top of the next and then front post double crochet into the next double crochet into the top of the next front post double into the next then double crochet and front post double 
So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the double crochet, front post double crochet repeat all the way around until I make it back to my starting point. Just remember, every time you do a, a front post stitch, it's going to be around a post stitch from the previous row. So the posts are always kept lined up. So double, front post double, double, front post double, all the way around until we make it back around to our starting point. All right, I come to the end of round seven. Your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet and you should have 70 stitches, 72 stitches still. 72 is gonna be our magic number um, all the way down until we get to the brim. Um, we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Now for round eight, we are going to chain one and we're gonna work a round of single crochet. So we're gonna go back into the same and very first stitch as always and we're gonna work a single crochet this time. And we're gonna work around putting one single crochet in every stitch, this is round eight, until we make it back to our starting point. So there's no post stitches, there's nothing special here. We're just working one single crochet in every stitch for round eight until we make it back to the beginning. Remember, if your work's curling, that's fine. All right, I'll meet back up with you right here. All right, I come to the end of round eight, and you should still have your 72 stitches. And if you see, my work is still kind of wonky, but that's fine. All right. So we're going to go ahead and end round eight by slip stitching through the back loop of our very first single crochet. So here is the chain one. We don't go into that. Here's the first single. So each stitch has a front loop and a back loop. The one closest to you is your front loop. The one furthest away is your back loop. So we're gonna go through the back loop only and slip stitch and that's how we're gonna end round eight. 72 stitches. Now we're gonna start round nine, 10, and 11. They were all the exactly the same. So we're gonna do three rounds exactly the same. And it's worked in the back loop only. So we'll start off by chaining one. Now remember, we're on round nine, 10 and 11 are worked exactly the same way. We chain one, and then we are going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now we're gonna work around and we're gonna work one single crochet into every single stitch, but we're only working in the back loop. So into the back loop only, we single crochet into every single stitch. And you'll see by going into the back loop, it creates a little bit of a ridge. It's just for added texture, I guess. A little uh, detail that could be made easily. So I'm gonna work around putting one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch until I make it back around to my starting point. So if you look, you can kind of see the ridge that it's making there. And they'll be a little bit more visible when you get a couple more rows on. So I'm gonna continue around, one single crochet back loop only, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round nine. All right, I'm coming to the end of round nine, and I'm going to end by putting one, by slip stitching into the back loop of my first single crochet. So here's my chain one. Make sure you go into your first, into the back loop of the first single, and you should have 72 stitches. I highly recommend the count. Um, I always do because it it's no good if you <laughs> if you don't count and you mess up later and have to take it all out. So make sure you got your 72 stitches. So now, uh, like I said, um, 10 and 11 is just going to be a repeat of what we just did for round nine. So we're just gonna repeat round nine two more times. So we're gonna start round 10 and chain one, go back into the same stitch and single crochet. 
and we'll work around putting one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch for round 10. When you make it back to the beginning, you'll have 72 stitches and then you repeat it again for round 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue this and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 11. All right, so I've made it to the end of round 11 and we're just going to end it a little bit differently than we did rounds nine and 10. So I've made it all the way around and I have 72 stitches. Instead of uh, slip stitching into the back loop of the first single crochet, we're gonna slip stitch through both loops of that single crochet. And that'll end around 11. 72 stitches still. So why don't we go ahead and work uh, round 12. Now we're going to be working through both loops now, not just the back loop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one for round 12, go back into that very first stitch and double crochet. So round 12, we're gonna work around and we're gonna put one double crochet in every stitch until we make it back to our starting point. Remember, we're going through both loops now, not just the back loop. And we're working one double in every stitch for round 12. So nothing super special this round until we make it back to our starting point. Just like that. All right, I've made it to the end of round 12. You still should have 72 stitches. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. So rounds 13 and 14 are going to be the exact same thing now. So for round 13 and 14, we're gonna do the same. We are going to chain one. We're gonna go back into the very first stitch and put a double crochet. And then we are gonna put a front post, a double crochet into the next stitch. And this is what we're gonna repeat all, oops, all the way around. So double crochet into the next. And front post, double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next. And front post double into the next. Double into the next. And front post double into the next. So I'm gonna repeat the double crochet, front post double crochet repeat for round 13 until I make it all the way back around to my starting point. And that is where I'll meet back up with you. All right, I've made it to the end of round 13. Your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet and you should still have 72 stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double. Now for round 14, we're just gonna repeat what we did for round 13 by chaining one, going back into the same stitch and putting a double crochet. And then we're going to do the front post double crochet and then regular double crochet in the next repeat, just like we did on a previous round. So round 14 is a repeat of round 13. So I'm gonna continue around until I make it to the end of round 14. Doing my double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post. And remember your post will line up with each other. All right, I'll see you back here. All right, so I made it to the end of round 14 and I have 72 stitches and I still should have, I should have ended in a front post double crochet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna repeat rounds eight, nine, 10, and 11. So it's actually these rows, single crochet rows up here. So we're gonna go ahead and end round 14 by slip stitching into the first double crochet. And then we're gonna be re begin round 15, which is actually a repeat of round eight. So we're gonna chain one, go back into the same stitch and single crochet. And we're gonna work our way around, putting one single crochet. We're going through both loops on this first, first round here. One single crochet in every stitch 
all the way around until we make it back to our starting point. All right, so I'll meet back up with you when I make it back to the beginning. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round 15, remember, which was a repeat of round eight. And for uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into, you should have 72 stitches, slip stitching into the back loop of our first single crochet. So now for round 16, we're repeating round nine. So we chain one, go back into the same stitch and single crochet, and we work around putting a single crochet into the back loop only. So this is 16, round 16, one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch. And then when we get back around you'll have 72 stitches and then for round 17 we will repeat round 10 and for round 18 we will repeat around 11. All rounds are one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch just like we did before and if you look there'll be time stamps that you can follow to go back up here to rounds 8, 9, 10, 11 in case you need to uh, see them again, but I'm going to go ahead and repeat. I'm on the repeat around nine, and then I'll repeat around ten, and I'll repeat around eleven, and then I'll meet back up with you at the end there. Okay, so I went ahead and repeated. Uh, those rounds and I just finished a repeat of round 11 and now we are actually finishing out round 18. So what we're going to do now is end it by slip stitching through both loops of our first single crochet and we should have a total of 72 stitches. Now we're going to start the brim. So we are going to chain one and we're going to do some increasing now. So we're going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch like that. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next four. So there's one, two, three, and four. So counting that first double crochet there we did plus a four more, we have a total of five double crochets in a row. And in our next stitch, we're gonna put two doubles into the same stitch. And that will be the repeat now for round 19. We are gonna put one double crochet into the next five stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then two doubles into the next. Again, one double crochet into the next five. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then two double crochets into the next. So I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around of one double crochet in the next five and two double crochets into the next until I make it back around to my starting point. All right, so I just finished round 19 and you should have ended with two double crochets into your last stitch. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet and now you should have 84 stitches. So now we're gonna do some post stitch increases like we did up here, all right? So let's begin round 20. We're gonna start off by chaining one. We're gonna go back into that very first stitch and do a double crochet. And then we are going to do a front post double crochet around the next stitch. Double crochet into the next. Front post double crochet into the next. double crochet 
into the next. Front post double crochet into the next. And then we will do our increase into the next stitch. We will put a regular double crochet into the top and then a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. Just like that. And that is what we're gonna repeat. So let's do it again. One double crochet into the next. Front post double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next. Front post double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next. And front post double crochet into the next. Like that. And now the next stitch we are going to increase. So we will put a regular double crochet on top and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So this is what we're gonna repeat for round 12. Let's do it one more time. All right, we're gonna start off with a double crochet into the next, and then a front post double crochet into the next. Double crochet into the next, front post double crochet, into the next, double crochet into the next, front post double crochet into the next, and then we do our increase into the next stitch. So we put a double crochet on in it and a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. So this is a pattern I'm gonna repeat for round 20 all the way around until I make it back to my starting point. All right, I made it to the end of round 20. You should have 96 stitches. You should have ended in an increase. Let's go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And we're gonna do another row of increases. So for round 21, we are going to chain one. And here we go. So we're gonna double crochet right back into that very first stitch. And then we will work a front post double crochet around the next stitch a double crochet into the next, a front post double crochet around the next stitch, and a double crochet into the next, front post double crochet around the next stitch, and double crochet into the next, and then the next stitch we will do an increase. You can see it's this post stitch here. So we put a double crochet into the top of it and a post stitch around the same stitch. So that is what we're gonna repeat now. Let's go ahead and do it again. So we're gonna put a double crochet into the next stitch, a front post double crochet into the next double crochet into the next stitch, front post double into the next, double crochet into the next stitch, and front post double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next stitch, and now the next stitch you can see we need to do it's a this post stitch here, we will do our increase. So we will go into the top and put a double crochet and a front post double around the same stitch. Let's repeat this one more time. I'll show you how to repeat it one more time. So double crochet into the next stitch and front post double into the next. Double crochet into the next stitch and front post double into the next. Double crochet into the next stitch, front post double into the next. Double crochet into the next stitch. And now we need to 
do our increase here on this stitch so we double crochet into the top of it and a front post double in this on the post of the same stitch so we're going to keep repeating this pattern all the way around until we make it back to our starting point all right so i'm coming to the end of round 21 and i should have a 108 stitches now and you should have ended in an increase so i'm going to go ahead and by slip stitching into my first double crochet if you want to stop on the brim you can i'm going to do another increase row on my brim so let's begin we're going to chain one and we are going to put a double crochet into the first stitch and a front post double crochet into the next double crochet into the next stitch front post double crochet into the next double crochet into the next stitch and a front post double crochet into the next double crochet into the next stitch and a front post double crochet into the next so it's just right here and then the next stitch will be our increase stitch and it's kind of tight because it's right next to this front post that we just put so we put a double crochet into the top of the stitch and a front post double around the post of the same stitch so this is what we're going to repeat now for round 22. we are going to double crochet into the next stitch front post double crochet into the next double crochet into the next stitch front post double into the next double crochet into the next stitch front post double into the next double crochet into the next stitch and front post double into the next it's just double crochet right here and then the next stitch is the increase stitch so we go into the top of it and we work a double crochet and then we go around the post of the same stitch right here and work a front post double crochet so that is the repeat i'll show you one more time we're going to double crochet into the next stitch and front post double crochet into the next double into the next and front post double into the next double into the next front post double into the next double into the next and right here front post double into the next and then we increase in this next stitch which is always kind of hard to see because we just put a front post double around that one but we go into the top of it and we double crochet and then we go around the post of it and put a front post double crochet so this is the pattern i'm going to repeat as you can see our posts are staying lined up all the way around until i get back to my starting point all right i made it to the end of round 22 we should have 120 stitches now and you should have ended in an increase i'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet now if you want to make your brim larger by all means you can keep going and increasing in the same manner that we've been increasing um but i'm going to go ahead and finish mine off i think i'm going to go around it with a round of slip stitches so what i'm going to do now for the final round is just i'm going to work around and slip stitch in every stitch not like really tight just kind of normal you know you don't want to get it too tight but putting one slip stitch in every stitch all the way around and again this is not anything that you have to do it's just to kind of add an edge on it and to straighten up the any any uh 
stitches that might look a little crooked. You could also do a single crochet edge if you'd like, a reverse single crochet, otherwise known as a crab stitch. But I'm going to go around and slip stitch in every stitch until I make it back to my starting point. And this is my finishing round. Remember, if you want your band or your brim bigger, by all means, you make it as big as you like. It's your hat. You're wearing it, not me. So you make it to your likings. So I'm going to continue around one slip stitch in every stitch and I'll meet back up with you when I make it to the end or back around to my starting point. All right, I've made it around to my starting point and I'm going to finish off by slip stitching into that first slip stitch. And then I'm going to clip my yarn and hide any remaining tails that I have. Here it is. Hey, I like it. I'm probably going to wear this. I generally, I generally only wear fitted beanies, but actually this is a really, really pretty cool sun hat. Um, I mentioned it's made from my chocolate bonbon beanie, which is my favorite pattern, but adding the brim on it, this makes it pretty cool too. What do you guys think? Do you like it? So remember, if you make this or anything else uh, of mine, uh, don't forget to uh, show me a picture of it on Instagram or Facebook. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're going to make this. Or just let me know what you think of it. I think it turned out really well. I do. I had a couple mistakes here and there. But I'll cut them out so you won't see them. But you know what? That's how we learn. The mistakes. I think it looks good. Thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Okay? Bye guys.